We've all heard of greedy, greedy in-laws. This woman is quite the Grinch. A bride and groom got married. This is a tragedy in South Carolina. As they were walking to their Airbnb, a drunk driver hit him, injuring the man permanently. He's in critical condition and sadly killing the bride. Well, now the bride's mom says they weren't really married. It just happened and she died on the walk back. So she wants the money they're about to get in a huge lawsuit against the hotel, the bars that serve the drunk driver, and of course, none other than the car insurance company. So could you believe that? It's a big insurance claim, and now the in-law doesn't want the husband to have a right to that money. Take a look at this video, which explains it a little more in detail. It was an unthinkable tragedy. A beautiful bride mowed down on her wedding night by a drunk driver. Now the bride's mom, Lisa Miller, is claiming her daughter was never legally married to the groom. If true, that would make her the beneficiary of what could be a multi-million dollar estate and not the groom. I'm not sure what would bring her to actually challenge the validity of her own daughter's marriage in order to get money. 34-year-old Samantha Miller and the love of her life, Eric Hutchinson, were married on a beach in South Carolina last April. She was killed later that night, and he was seriously injured as they rode in a golf cart to an Airbnb. I spoke with his attorney, Patrick Wooten. The only indication that Ms. Miller has lawyers have given for challenging the validity of the marriage is that Sam and Eric didn't have the opportunity to cohabitate or sleep in the same bed um, after they got married, because, of course, Sam was tragically killed the night of the wedding. Ah, dirty. I just feel icky watching that. So if you're following along, this was the love of his life. He committed to her, put the ring on it, had the wedding ceremony, and that night she passed away. And he goes, I don't know what would make the mother act like this. I do. 40 to $100 million on the line losing a girl at such a young age. So let's take it to the court of public opinion right over here. I need to know from you. Do you think that if you got married to the gentleman and, you know, and there was a, an accident and you passed away, do you think the husband has the right to the full insurance claim? They took the love of her life. You know, there's a song about that. Oh, where, oh, where could my baby be? Remember that one. Or do you think the mother should have access to the money? You just wish there was a better way to work this out. Put in the comments. I'd love to know. Here's what I think. Maybe the mom could have just taken a back seat. The husband gets the money and says, hey, can you help the family out? We're hurting too. And then everyone kind of figures it out outside of the courtroom. But this is getting nasty. Ugh. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that short clip. Now, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get all the notifications.